Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten with Partners in Technology. I am going to demonstrate accounts receivable divisions in Sage 100C version 2017. Before you could take advantage of AR divisions, the option must be turned on in accounts receivable. We're going to find this in the setup menu, and then it's going to be the first task. And when we go in, you will see that enabling divisions is the very first option. We're also going to be exploring this option right here. It's GL segment substitution for AR. So I just want you to make a note that um, we're going to be looking at substitution, and we'll be talking about that in a minute. Now, when we begin to create divisions, we're going to again find that in the setup menu, and you could see here division maintenance. If we look at the ones that I have set up, you'll see that I have a corporate division, I have an east sales office division, I have a west sales office division. Now, when I set up divisions, it's merely creating the code, assigning a description, and then assigning certain account numbers like accounts receivable, the cash sales, discounts, freight, sales tax, and finance charge. This is where all these things will post. Now, of course, the revenue for all of these items are defined in uh, the item maintenance or in the example that we're going to be using, miscellaneous items, because we're going to invoice in accounts receivable. Now, in my data, I have three segments in my GL account. The first segment is the main account. In my data, the second division here is the department. The third segment represents my location. So what I've done down here is that I've said when I post to revenue through an invoice, I want to substitute the third segment for O2 no matter what I have set the account number to be in my item maintenance. And we're going to see that in just a second. So I'm going to exit out of here and let's come over to common information, which is where I'm setting up my miscellaneous item. And we're going to go to the very last one in the segment where I have widgets. When I look at my account numbers, you're going to see that my account number is 4000100. But when I post to a customer in division 01, that's going to be substituted with an 01. For a customer in division 02, it would be 02. Let's go take a look and see how that works. I'm going to come into Invoice Data Entry in Accounts Receivable. I'm going to create an invoice, and let's look at an invoice. I'm going to take the top one for Customer ABF. And if you notice, all of my customer numbers had a preceding number. I had set up two divisions that I want customers in, 01 and 02. When I come over to Lines, you're going to see I selected Widget or actually it was auto-assigned, and look at the account number. When we had looked at it in the setup, we saw that the account number was 4000100. Now I have 4000101. Let's accept this invoice, and let's create another one. Let's create one for somebody in Division 02. Coming to Lines, who also has um, the default item code being widget, you can see the general ledger account number has now been changed to 02. Let's accept this and see what happens when we post these entries. I'm not going to print the invoices because nothing changes there, so I'm going directly to the sales journal. Let's take a look. First, we're going to see that all of the invoices that are for Division 01 will be together on one page, or multiple pages if needed, and we'll have a subto subtotal by that division. Next, we're coming to the next page, and this is where all my O2 customer invoices will be listed. A little different, because if they were all in the same division, it would all be in one page. Now, it's recapping this where it looks like I'm going to have separate journal entries for each of my divisions, but you're going to see that my accounts receivable number is 01, 02 over here. This is, I'm looking at my third segment. And look at my sales is 01 versus 02.
Now here's my tax summary. I'm going to exit out of here. I'm not going to print the gross profit, but I am going to update the, uh, the sales journal so that I can get to my daily transaction register. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, the journal entries have been combined, so I see it in one journal, so I don't have to go to multiple journal entries when I'm looking to, um, to um, research this journal. It's all in one. And when I update, my transactions are complete. So you can see how creating divisions, first of all, I can do separate reporting, such as I can have an aging report just for Division 1 or Division 2, and most of my sales reports in accounts receivable can be printed by division. Now, there are more substitution opportunities when I'm invoicing in sales orders and I'm using warehouses, but I'm going to save that for another video. Thanks for watching.